expressing properties and states in southern Quechua, the verb kai, to be, and its derived forms. Uh, uh, now we're going to talk about the properties, the grammatical characteristics of the verb kai in Quechua, the root ka, K-A, it's the form, it's the verb to be. And here in this presentation, I'm going to focus on uh, the conjugation of that verb, the way in which it is used in the third person to indicate existence or the equivalent of the expression there is or there are. And finally, it's derived form with echka or sha, kashan, kachkan, uh, which is used to indicate that something is currently at a place or at a state. Let's talk about that. Let's begin, let's begin with the conjugation of the root, the stem, the base, ka, which is, uh, in general, very close in meaning to the verb, to the Spanish verb ser, or the English verb to be. So for the first person, sorry about that, you get the combination ka plus ni. So nyoka, no karunakani, I am a person. No karunakani, I am a person. Ka, ni. Kang, harikanki. You are a man. You are a male. Kang, harikanki. Ka plus enki. Kanki. Kang, harikanki. You are a male. You are a man. Pai, pai yachachechmi. He is a teacher or she is a teacher. There is no gender distinction in Quechua for the pronoun pai, as you know, or as you might be aware of. Notice how pai yachachechmi is substantially different than nyokarunakani kan harikanki. What you can see there is that there is not a verb. The form yachachechmi indicates simply what that person is. Yachachech means teacher. Yachachechmi, a teacher, I am asserting that. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Now, for the plural forms, nyokaiku, warmikaiku, we are women. Nyokaiku, warmikaiku, ka plus iku, kaiku. But also we have nyokanchis, alinkanchis. Nyokanchis, alinkanchis, ka plus enchis, we are good. The difference between nyokaiku and nyokanchis is that nyokaiku includes the person who is speaking, it's that person's peers, that person's friends, that person's uh, set of people, but doesn't include the person who is listening. So in other words, it means we, but not you. So that is an exclusive form. Whereas nyokanchis means the one who is speaking and the one who is hearing. Anybody who is hearing is included in the group, is included in the we term. So that is the inclusive form. Let's continue with the plural forms. Kankuna walech kankichis. Kankuna walech kankichis. You guys are fine. You, plural. Kankuna, the plural of kan. You are fine. Kankichis. Ka plus enkichik. That is the termination, that is the conjugation form, the conjugation suffix for second person plural, you, you guys, or you all. And finally, paikuna takeh kanku. Paikuna takeh kanku. Ka plus enku. You, paikuna, sorry, they, uh, they are singers. They are singers. Takeh, takeh, singer. So, to sum, to sum up, the meaning of the root, the verb ka, is very similar to Spanish ser, and it indicates that whoever you are talking about is a member of a class, is a type of thing. So that is very important, and the rules are that the, uh, the most important rule is that for the third person, the equivalent to he is, she is, it is, never uses a verb. It's zero. You don't say anything. You just say the thing that that person or that thing is. So 
Pai Yachacher is nothing but he teacher or she teacher. So Pai Runa, she is a person. But you don't say the verb to be. You don't say you don't say anything that is the equivalent of the, the third person conjugated form of to be. The second rule is that uh, which is in reality something that people tend to, to suggest that students do when they have to say something about a third person, about he, she, or it, is that they add the, uh, the evidential form M or me, that you know M is used when it, the stem ends with a vowel, and me it's used when it, when it ends with a consonant. The idea is that you use that form to emphasize the assertion so that the person who is listening gets a cue that tells, oh, this is something that I am predicating, something that I am saying, something that I am stating, some quality that I'm stating about this third person subject, he, she, or it, okay? Finally, for the first person plural exclusive form, remember exclusive nyokaiku, I, those who are my peers, but not you. So first person, plural, we, but not the second person, not the listener, you. For that form in Ayacucho, for the Chanka variety in general, there is a particular conjugation that is niku, kaniku, no, nyokaiku kaniku. And that is a perfectly valid conjugation. In fact, as you can see, the first person singular is ka plus ni. So what the people in the Chanka region are doing is they are using the most regular form, ka, ni, plus ku, instead of the, let's put it like that, the previous form, most likely historically, ka, y, e, plus ku. As we will learn later, the y, the e, it's a mark for first person possessive. Now, let's take a look at what happens with the third person form for to be, kan. So you, we saw a minute ago that ka plus ni, ka ni, I am, ka plus n, k, i, kan, ki, you are, but ka plus n, kan, doesn't mean he is, she is, it is. It means there is, there are, it exists, or something exists. The way in which this verb is going to be used is exemplified here. Quechua yachachek klasipikan, pitach. Quechua yachachek, yachachek, teacher, klasipikan. Quechua yachachek klasipikan, pitach. There, uh, there is in our classroom, or there is in the classroom, a Quechua teacher. A Quechua teacher that is in the classroom. Pitach, who? Carlos, Quechua yachachek me. Carlos is the Quechua teacher. Notice how here we are combining the previous notion, the previous notion that we learned. Carlos is the Quechua teacher. Carlos Quechua yachachechmi, but we don't have a verb. So in this form, we don't have a verb. We don't have the form can. However, in this statement here, Quechua yachachech klasipikan, there is a Quechua teacher in the classroom. There is is can. Another example. Kunam punchao yachakoh kuna klasipikan. Kunam punchao, kunam punchao today, yachakoh kuna, students, klasipikan, today, today, there are students in class. Once again, you can see how the form kan is giving us the information about what exists, what is there in the classroom. So the rules for the for use of the form can, the third person conjugated form of to be, are the following. Can is the overt, the, the, the overt in the sense of this appears, you have to say it, you have to write it. It's the overt form of to be in the third person, ka plus n. Contrast with the previous slide, please, where you can find the endings, ni, enki, and n. These are the basic endings in, Ke in Quechua. You can write it them, ni, enki, and n. And these are going to be the first, the second, and the third person. 
The second rule is that uh, the use of can for there is also works for there are. There is no need to use that form in the plural. If you use the form in the plural, it doesn't mean there is anymore. It means they are. So you have to be careful with that. You don't need to conjugate that form. Can works for singular plural. It only means exist. It exists or they exist. Let's take a quick look at this room. Imatah pununa wasipi kan. Imatah pununa wasipi kan. Sorry, I'm missing here this little thing. Imatah pununa wasipi kan. What is there in the bedroom? Okay. What in the bed? What is there in the bed in the bedroom? Let's take a look. Imatah pununa wasipi kan. Pununa. Pununa. Bed. Hook punyuna kan. There is a bed. Punyuna kan. Imatawan. What else? Imatawan. Kanchana. Kanchana. Kanchana kan. Punyuna wasipi. Punyuna wasipi. Kanchana kan. There is a light in the bedroom. Kanchana light. Imatawan. Kawarina. Iskai. Hook. Iskai. Iskai. Hawarina kan punyuna wasipi. There are two windows in the bedroom. Hawarina is kai hawarina punyuna wasipi kan. Imatawan. What else? Hampara. Hampara kan punyuna wasipi. There is a table in the bedroom. Imatawan. What else? Computadora. Computadora punyuna wasipi kan. There is a computer in the bedroom. Imatawan, imatawan kan. Tiana, hook tiana kan. One chair. There is one chair. Hook tiana punyuna wasipi kan. Imatawan kan. I think that's it. Chailia. Finally, let's take a look at the form kachka, kasha, which is the way to express how something is currently at a certain state. And by that, I mean to be located at a place or to be in a certain condition, which is relevant for the time being. We're gonna explain that in a little bit. The conjugation is fairly simple. It's the, it's the same base as the verb to be, ka, but we're adding a cup, we're adding an extra suffix, which is echka. This suffix here which indicates that something is going on. We're going to see this suffix in other, um, you know, later in the semester, where it indicates the present progressive, or more accurately, the imperfect aspect of a verb. So, no kakashani, no kakashani, or no kakachkani, means I am at, yo estoy. It's very similar to Spanish star. Therefore, no kakashani, I am at, yo estoy. Kan kashanki, kan kashanki, you are at, ka shka ni. Pai kashan, she is at, he is at. Notice how now we are effectively using this form. Now we have to say the verb to be because it has more information. It has shka attached to it. So we need to say it. No kaiku kashaiku in Cusco and Bolivia. No kaiku kashaiku. We are at we, but not you. And of course, no kaiku kachkaniku in the Chanka variety of Quechua, which means exactly the same. We, but not you, are at. Nosotros estamos. No kanchis kashanchis. We are we and you included. We are at. Kankuna kashankichis, you guys, you plural, y'all, are at, ustedes están, kankuna kashankichis. And finally, paikuna kashanku, paikuna ka, shka, nku. They are at, ellos están. So don't forget that there are two forms for we in Quechua, the inclusive form and the exclusive. The exclusive, nyokaiku, means 
we, but not you, but not you, the listener, and no canches means we, but you, the listener, is also included. Some examples of the use of this kachka form, the form kachka, the base kachka. No kawasipi kashani. I am at home. Yo estoy en casa. No kawasipi kashani. Kang kusiska kashani. Mana. Kang kusiska kashanki. You are happy. Notice how kashanki is indicated the way in which you are now, currently, but also, very importantly, it relates to a previous situation that has resulted, has come up into being in this way. So when I'm saying Han Kusiska Kashanki, that means you are happy. More precisely, you are content. Something made you happy. That's what you are implying. And as and because of that, you are happy now. Champagne Illinois Picassion. However, just like in Spanish, sometimes it it doesn't make much sense to say that something is more uh, temporary when you use estar. Well, the same situation happens in Quechua. You can say Champagne, Illinois, Picassion, and that is the way you talk about location. Champagne is in Illinois. You have to use Kachkan. So as a rule of thumb, when you are locating things in a space, it is very much the case that you're going to use Kachka as the base. So Illinois, Oh, sorry, Champagne, Illinois, Picascan. Champagne is in Illinois. But to talk about other states like Kusisca, well, in that case, what you're talking about is something that it seems to be less permanent, but ends up being a state that comes from a certain result. Another example, Nohanchis, Huasipi Kashanchis, COVID Raiku. We are at home due to COVID. COVID Raiku due to COVID. Nohanchis, Huasipi Kashanchis, COVID -like. We are at home due to COVID. We can go out as of time being, for instance. And Paikuna Liakiska Kashanku. They are sad. Liaki sad, Liakiska saddened. Something happened to them, and as a result, they are sad. Currently, as of now. So there is this idea of something that usually, when you're not talking about locations, the idea is something happened before, and now we're reporting the way something is currently. So that means that we have that Kashka means in most of the occasions when they are not talking about geographical locations, when you don't place things uh, in space, that something is currently at this uh, in this situation. So Wasi, you can even say Wasi Sumach Kashan, the house is pretty, currently pretty. So I find it pretty, it is pretty as of now, it's relevant for what we're talking about, or even antakashan. If I say antakashan, that doesn't mean uh, something like el pan está, like what we would say in Spanish, or the, 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 the bread is located. It means there is bread. So very important, kachkan is also, can also be used to indicate that, some, that something exists, but you have to use that if you want to report that something as of now is there. So if somebody comes and asks you, uh, goes to if you go to the store, so you go to the to the bakery and you say, Tanta uh, Kachkanchu, they can reply, Tanta Kachanmi. So uh, is there bread? Yes, there is bread. There is bread now. That's what they are implying. That currently there is bread. So a little example. This is Bolivia. Bolivia Suyu and Tispicashan. The country of Bolivia, Bolivia Suyu. Bolivia Suyu and Tispi, Antis, Andes, the Andes Mountains, and Tispi Kachkan. And Tispicashan. The Bolivia, the country of Bolivia is in the Andes. My Pita Cochabamba Lyachta. Where is the town of Cochabamba? My Pita Cochabamba Lyachta. Ah. Cochapampa. Cochabamba, Cochabamba, Leachta, Bolivia, Picasan. Bolivia is, uh, sorry, Cochabamba, the town of Cochabamba, the city of Cochabamba is in Bolivia. It's located at Bolivia. My pita popo cocha, cocha lake. Therefore, Cochabamba means the field or the, uh, the flat field of the lake. So, therefore, now we can talk about the word cocha 
my pitag popo cocha, popo cocha, my pitag chai. What is that? My pitag cousin. Ari, popo cocha, ururu suyupi, suyu country or also region, ururu suyupi, Bolivia picasan. The Lake Popo is at or is in Bolivia in the region of Oruro. Popo Cocha, Ururu Suyupi, Bolivia Picasso. So in this presentation, we've learned how to use the verb to be, how to conjugate that, the different type of conjugations for the singular and the plural. Very important, the verb to be in the third person, the equivalent of he, she, it is, it is not used in Quechua in an overt way. You don't have to pronounce it, you don't have to write it. That is a little tricky. However, if you use the form for the third person to be in Quechua, can, K-A-N, then it means there is, there are. And if you want to report that something is currently, is located at a place or is at a certain state, then what you need to do is to use the form ka, the verb to be, plus echka, plus the conjugation form. So, I am at is noka kashani, ka echka plus ni. You are at a certain state, ka plus echka plus enki, etc., etc. I hope that this is, uh, I hope that this has been clear for you. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Thank you.